Hi everybody, this is John Fellenstein, Professor Polymer from the University of Akron's Akron Global Polymer Academy with another daily demonstration. So today you'll notice there is a burning torch right next to my face and uh, we are going to experiment with uh, a penny. So I'm going to take this penny and I'm going to see what happens when I heat it up in the flame of this torch. Here we go. I don't know if you can see what's happening, but the penny is changing color. And it also seems to be deforming a little bit. Please don't try this at home. This is very, very dangerous. Below the penny, I have a cup of water. We're going to drop it into right about soon as it gets a little bit hotter. Oh, so it just dropped right in there. So what happened to our penny? Well, here's what I did earlier. And you can see that it doesn't really look like a penny anymore. That's because some pennies, especially pennies made after 1981, are mostly zinc, okay? And zinc has a much lower melting point than copper. Now I have a pre-1981 penny here as well, and we're going to heat this up in the torch and see what happens. Same amount of temperature, same flame amount. Right, we didn't do anything different from the torch, but notice the solid copper penny is not melting. All right, it's just getting hot. And it is very hot at this point, but it is not melting. Okay, the penny is about red hot now, if you can see that. That's pretty interesting as well. Now what happens when we put that in the water? So it changed color a little bit, but it did not melt. Here is the post-1981 penny. This is what zinc looks like when you melt it. And here is the pre-1981 penny. Notice the little mark right over here is where I was holding it in the tongs. Here's another example of a pre, or I'm sorry, a post-1982 penny. Uh, this was the first one that I did today. So the zinc is still kind of shiny and you can see remnants of the penny itself. Okay, that was today's daily demonstration. I hope you're doing well. Have a great day. Stay safe and yay science.